All right, guys, welcome to today's episode of the Yacht Yacht Show, where we are trying to still hunt some big deer. That being said, y'all remember my buddy Lance. He sighted in my 270 uh, not too long ago, and we knocked down three does with it and a big old buck. If you just watched that episode of the big buck that I got on the club for trapping 155 hogs. That being said, I had another little uh, thought about taking the first gun that I ever got from uh, my parents was a 30-30, uh, and I've killed my first deer with it, and now Harlow has killed his when he was like 10 years old. He killed several with it when he was like 10 to 11. He's 17 now. That gun has been under the bed forever, so I decided to get up with my buddy Lance since he can dial him in good and uh, see if he can get that 30-30, how, just how bad it was or how good it was, and uh, see if we can't kill a big buck. So here's my buddy Lance. So uh, just how bad or good was it? Well, the first thing I did was open her up and blew the dust out of the back. <laughs> and the cobwebs. And the cobwebs. But no, then I, I cleaned your barrel for you and uh, started out with a clean slate. And uh, I'm just glad you brought it to me. Yeah, it's a little bit off. Uh, yeah, had 100 yards. It was six inches high, four inches left. Uh, uh, within a few shots, I had it. I had it right. So yeah, I looked in the box, and he only had like four shots spent. You already had it dialed in to where me, I'd have spent probably all of them, and uh, still wouldn't have had it dialed in. But no, you're you're good. You're good to go. Uh, so these hope. are just little tried and true little little rifles. Uh, yeah, a little thirty thirty. What what was it? Little, little uh, New England firearms. I mean, it's there are millions of them across the across the uh, country and. Yeah, I, I, I got good, that. They're good little rifles. That's right. And I got that when I was like 16, 15 or 16, maybe younger. My dad gave it to me for Christmas. And uh, like I said, that's not the original scope I had on it. But uh, the other one was kind of kind of shady. <laughs> but but uh, and, it would, and it would dot your eye. Uh, it had the old hard rim on it. You know, like if you got hit, it would cut you wide open. So, but we're going to try it. So now, Lance, since that's 270, didn't knock down a big buck. We're going in in a tight spot, probably uh, 40 yards tops, 50 yards tops in the woods. So uh, I think that 30 30 will be pretty good. That's old school 30 30. Hey, killed my first two deer with it. Actually, today, 35 years ago, today, I killed my first deer with a 30 30. First buck with a 30 30. Right, right. 35 years ago, today. Right. Well, right. it's always good to have those traditions. Just like I, I, I killed mine. I give it to my son. He killed his, and and then, uh, like I said, I moved up to a two seventy because somebody gifted me one. I did too. <laughs> so, I went so, from a thirty thirty to a two seventy. Right. I always letting those bucks crawl out there. But you said that you hit uh, at two hundred yards with it. Two hundred yards. I mean, you're two inches high at hundred. You are six inches low at two hundred. Uh, I shot a eight by eight plate at two hundred. Oh yeah. Uh, so. We're good. If you miss uh, within 200, yeah. uh, don't call me. <laughs> it ain't your fault, is it? I did my part. You got to do yours. That's right. right. Well, maybe 50 yards, but like I said, we're going to try it, and I, I just thought it would be pretty cool if I could. I was going to shoot a doe. I was going to shoot a doe, and then, Lance, I sent you a picture of the buck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Look, I don't know how far this video will go into. I might end up shooting a buck. You know me. I get trigger happy even during the ruts. <laughs> But I sent Lance a picture of this deer. I was like, dude, I think we should kill it with a 30-30. And he's like, that would be awesome. So I brought it to him yesterday. And uh, he's got it this morning. And I'm going to go to church and whatnot. And uh, hopefully this evening, uh, my wife asked me. She said, uh, "She said you going to hunt that big deer in the morning? I said, no. I said, I feel like if I skipped out on church, <laughs> then uh, I know I probably ain't going to kill him if I skipped out. So uh, we did a little beaver trapping this morning. And then we're going to try him this evening. And I hope I'm giving you a call. That uh, uh, you better put, say it, say, <laughs> say three or four prayers at church. I know it, I know it. Like I said, we always want things like this. Hey. But I told my wife, I said, this deer is daylighted. He showed up three or four times. He's on a scrape, and uh, we just hope that we can get in there on him. So I appreciate it, Lance. Yeah, no problem. And uh, I hope the, hope that you can complete the story. <laughs> yeah, this it, afternoon. that's it. And uh, anyway, man, I'm so glad I always help you out. Man, I you, sure appreciate it. You've been good to me, and like I said, this. The dirty 30. The dirty 30, son. Go. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go hunt. Let's see if this thing works. Uh, anyway, we got a little deception sense there. Uh, first thing we're going to spray down. So we're going hunting. We're going to be in a lock-on stand. Sorry, it's so bright right now. 
Oh, I actually had to find a hat. But anyway, it's got so bright. Anyway, we're just gonna spray our clothes down. We got a north wind, so we'll be facing, we'll be facing north, northwest wind coming to us. And uh, the buck deer that we've been having on, that I've seen on camera, has uh, showed up twice in the daylight, running by a scrape. And I saw him, I got it on video where he chased a doe, but it was only like three seconds. Had a doe come by, and then about three minutes later, it was a buck cruising right behind there. So, uh, I say chasing, you know what I mean? Just trailing anyway. So anyway, we're gonna spray down, and uh, we got the old Dirty 30. And uh, hey, I appreciate everybody watching the videos and stuff, man. Oh. But, you know, let me get over here real quick in the shade. I want to say this real quick. I don't want to break it up. I want to tell you. Anyway, I went to church this morning, and it was like, get right there. Yeah, so we went to church this morning. The preacher was talking about, you know, the reason for the season with Christmas coming up. And I don't know when this video will be posted, depending on if I, when I actually kill this deer or my son or whatnot. But... He was talking about don't let things distract you, like I said, from, for the reason of the season. Uh, sometimes, just like this deer, man, uh, I get so wound up and want to kill these big deer. And sometimes I get my mind, it's all I got my mind on. And sometimes you lose sight of, you know, uh, Jesus and and family and, and everything else. So I don't want to be that person. As, as bad as my wife knows that I want this deer and every time I get a picture of it or every time I get a you know something going on on my cameras I'm all about it and just like last night we went out to eat the wind was wrong to hunt here but the deer showed up and my wife's like I want you to have the deer but I don't want you to not be focused on us and our time right now uh just because you can't hunt and something and then when the and then the preacher reiterated it. So that's my message. I know that's meant for me. My wife said it. And then the preacher said it. And we just don't want to lose sight of every, the, for, for, for God, for Jesus. We don't want to lose sight. Don't let those little things that we love to do here on earth take away uh, from what God can do for us inside and outside and for our family. So I guess that's just my little message uh, that's for me. I'm just going to get dressed. Let's get to the woods. Let's get this buck down. Come on. All right. Well, let's go on down here and see if we can come up with you. <sighs> I feel like I got too many clothes on for the walk, but the wind's gonna blow cool off at dark. So, just ease on down here and see what we got. I don't know how well it's gonna be videoed. Harlow killed a, a doe out of this with his bow. So, I don't know how he left the stand. If it's got a place where I can wrap this holder and whatnot. But, anyway. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day to hunt. We in here tight. That's facing north. Wind's my face right there. So if he comes from that direction, hopefully we can get one. I'm still trying to figure out what to uh, put this thing on so I can record. I haven't figured it out yet. I stuck these little tree branches right here in the, in the stand. So if they come up right there, my outline's kind of broke up. Maybe it'll work out.
Well guys, I got in such a hurry today trying to get here because this deer showed up two times in daylight crossing through here. I forgot my safety harness. Now this tree stand does come with a chain. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you can't see it because my stuff's in the way, but it's chained on here, so. But I want to say that I do not believe in chancing any chancing your life on without being safe. It's not a law. It's just a maybe an unwritten rule of safety, you know. We all want to go home in the evenings to our family. So yes, I am chancing it. But don't be like me. One of the landowners was down here today. Oh next to the club or whatever and like i said i'm not on the club i got some property next to the club so one of the landowners was down here today and he was looking around and carrying on so i just met him told him i was in here there's a big pig that's been coming through here and of course the big buck so uh anyway just trying to get one knocked down but i just want to say so many times that we, we take things for uh advantage or whatever you want to call it so for granted and like i said I need to have a safety harness on. If my kid was hunting here, I would not allow him. And I'm just putting that out there that I'm not being very safe right now, but I also come up uh, in a generation to where it's what we did. Used to hang off these ladder stands, never thought about it. But as I get older, my legs aren't as steady and whatnot. Wind's blowing pretty good today. So, anywho, got a nice seat though. So anyway, we'll see. But just remember, I don't always do as I should, but I try to also tell y'all safety rules and whatnot. Anyway, y'all give me heck in the comment section, either which way. If I fall out of here and break a bone, I will still show this video. I'm not scared of it. Unlike the outdoor industry who shows only their, I won't say their ego, but their perfection, when in reality it's just edited video. I show everything in life. I remember I used to want to be on the outdoor channel. <laughs> and now here I am. Got my own y'all y'all show because of y'all, because of truth. And I don't try to hide any of my failures. So any which way. Let's hope this old big old buck comes in here today. Let's do this. All right, it's day three, sit. I've sat here three days in a row. The buck did not show through here last night, but don't mean that he won't. It's a lot of does coming in and out of here. It's just a little 17 acre block of woods. Hopefully a big dude walks through here and we can put the old dirty 30 to work. With that being said, let's enjoy and hope the Lord blesses us with a deer. But if he don't, he blessed us with another beautiful day.
Well, guys, picking up a hog trap this evening tonight. I just got out of the woods and uh, run to the house, grab something to eat and whatnot. But I'm leaving at like four o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna try to and take this trap to Louisiana. Boy, let me tell you, I didn't get it on film. Those, all those does that was coming through there and that big song gonna showed up. Look at it with binoculars. Seen it was him as he was coming down the same way that the uh, other deer were. Oh, I picked up my gun and getting ready for him to come to the opening and the doe was to my left, busted me. She didn't blow anything, but she bolted. And when she bolted, it didn't spook the buck. He chased her. He thought that she might have been in the heat. You know how to like chase her? She bolts around, just carrying on. Just, God, I did not get him. Guys, he is huge. But anyway, I can't hunt tomorrow. It's because I got to take this trap down to Louisiana. So come in here late tonight. It's like 8 o'clock right now. I'm going to load the trap up. I'm going to go home, get a shower, get some rest. Get on the road, go six, seven hours, bottom of Louisiana, drop the trap off and come back. So that's what we're doing. Life of the yacht. What's up, Bella? All right, we, we got the thing tied down. Got that barn crossed. And we are headed out. It is 3.21. We are headed to Louisiana. Literal. All right. All right, guys. We made it down here to Louisiana. Where are we at? We're in Erath, Louisiana. Erath. And your name is? Donald. 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 Hey, Donald, he done bought him a hog trap. We brought him one down here. The old big pig. Y'all have seen me catch a lot of hogs. But any which way. Been on the road since 3 this morning. Dropped it off. We've talked hogs. And uh, now we're back on the road to Mississippi. Yes, sir. We got big bucks to hunt over there. So. Oh, yeah. He said he got plenty of hogs to hunt here. Oh, a but, lot of them. But you'll be trapping now. Yes, that sir. hunting's over with. You might lose a lot of sleep trying to catch them. Right. But it's going to be worth it. I promise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It will. So will our grandkids. They'll love it, too. Oh, man. Ain't nothing like it when them kids, you can get them. Because it's always like kind of like Christmas. Like right. when you catch something, you, you go and you, you don't know. Sometimes you, well, you know how many you catch here. But it's just something new to them. Absolutely. And uh, they'll enjoy that. And the main thing is make them drag them pigs. Oh, they will. Because <laughs> <laughs> at our age, <laughs> it gets rough. So I gave them a pocket drag and uh, and everything. Because so I, yes, I knew it, the amount of hogs he was talking about. Ah, I don't even have no grip no more. You think oh, you'd have grip from dragging all of them? Oh. Them old thick ankle pigs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they take the grip away from you. but. Right. So anyway, guys, well, man, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. And uh, we're back on the road to Mississippi. Another 24-hour road trip. Let's roll. Well, oh, let me turn in right here. Park the, tra oh, park the trailer in the yard because I got that pallet on it. Well, it is 4.58. And we are home. There's the trailer here. Where your head. Woo! What you barking at? It's a me! It's a me! Well, I think my wife's up there at my in-laws. Then I'm gonna go in here and what you pull my thing for? Anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed the trip. It wasn't much of nothing, but we left at three this morning and we're home at five. So good little day on the road. Oh, I ain't too tired, but oh, I'm gonna chase that big buck in the morning. I don't know what the wind's gonna do. Oh, y'all wish me luck. Find something to eat.
well guys oh, oh. one of the club members just called me he shot a big deer and he described it. it's a big deer I've, <laughs> this is a big deer i've been hunting and i said did you have big brows he's like yeah i nicknamed him brow like, ah. but <laughs> oh so hopefully he said he's got blood so hopefully we can find him and uh, which david's pretty good shot so probably up in them pines but probably about a, I heard him shot oh this morning heard it I mean he just he ain't 500 yards from me and uh anyway let's go see what big day done knock down and if it's the buck that I was hunting then at least we can end this story <laughs> and I can warm up by dragging this big buck out come on All right, guys, we finally got the dog man here. My man, Zaxon, showed up. He's getting his dogs ready and whatnot. Now, the landowner had tracked this deer pretty good ways, and he's got it marked, so it's not a problem, but with the amount of blood, the size of this deer, he just didn't want to push him too far. So now we're kind of ready and going to try to see if the dogs can sniff it out. So y'all stay with us, and let's roll on down here. Got to get that mouth right. You better get all you want. You might not get none for a while. <laughs> Where it puts some feet, mm -hmm. feet down, All right? Like, it, like it's running. Down on the Over and maybe stood around. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna walk over and see if I see any blood. Or water. Okay. Stood around and she's trading. Okay, I see. All right, guys. We're headed to Dog's Bait. We're trying to get to it in time. I see him. 
Yep, down. He's still, still late, still alive. Here, Dale. Here, girl. Dale. Here. Here. Dale. Oh, Go ahead, get it. Dale. <laughs> you shot through all of that. I know I did. I mean, you thought I was going to miss. She was going to laugh on you. Look, 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 look. No, 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 no. This is what I know about this. I told David that I had this deer in my sights twice, but it was too thick. He just sent one. <laughs> you you heard him. He had a backup plan. When he shot and it took off running, he said, man, it was thick. So he said it was thick. He said it was thick. Well, look. Yeah, that's a, like a good shot. That's a good yeah, shot you know. there. Looks like one of them old Daryl Chumney shots. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. He's real good deer. He's Bear good right. deer. Bear right. We got you. We got you. Yeah. <laughs> is, it gonna, is it bigger than y'all steer? Oh, oh yeah. man, I man, tell you what, you, yeah. everything bigger than my deer. Yeah, bring that yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's like my wife asked me. She said, "How big's your deer?" I said, "It's bigger than yours, baby." Yeah, guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, look at that, man. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. God. Show him that good Showed shot. It. You don't know how he ran <laughs> five hundred yards and shot through the lung. Yeah, you got to show him how he ran out right there with that old lung shot right there, man. <laughs> Let me tell you what, that was one of them old Daryl Chumney shots right there. I'll get back with you. Yeah, he, he just cut it off. He said, well, you need to show that leg right now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't. Don't we don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about that. Yeah. Hey, he's down. That's all that matters. He's down. 400 yard shots. Man. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Can't let them slide. Hey, I'm not saying oh, you don't see it many, I'm huh? not saying that he said anything, but he said it since I got the guy over here that I mean that's like worth an eight point or something. But I ain't I ain't saying that's what he said or not. That's a good word. We like cold. Yeah, he said that uh yes, he said sir. he saw a good cold book for me. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. A sweet tickle, man. Tickle to death. Hey, ooh, oh. I keep forgetting that ain't the dog. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that's the dog that won't bite you. <laughs> no. Was that where you shot it first? That's a good dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. David just asked if we need to do anything. So, yeah, y'all got to get the dragon. We the film guy. We the dog and film guy. We the dog and film guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I got it. He asked me to get a shot. I got you shooting because I couldn't. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I couldn't see like you could see. Yeah. I'm telling you, the boy can bend bullets. I'm just telling you because there ain't no way that the bullet should have went in there. So, uh, anyway, it worked out. Hammer head knocking down. I guess I can go back to beaver trapping. Appreciate it, David. <laughs> Appreciate it, y'all. <laughs> He's a dream killer. Zach, hey, right here. Zach That's Crowley. My new best friend. My new hey, best friend. When a man finally. Hey, Tidy. We get lucky every once in a while just to David got lucky. No, we don't want to run no hot and hot. Anyway, big man's coming. We're excited now, boy. Oh, yeah. Just don't run over his horns. Might blow the tires out. Get long, long, long. Oh, get loaded up, guys. Oh, David. Boy, that's it right there. That's it right there, son. My nickname is Deer Brow. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, golly. Uh, <laughs> calling everybody in the club now. Well, it's called the club to me, but <laughs> everybody was asking, y'all taking members? Dude, I'm barely going to take myself. <sighs> Tell you what, y'all mean you got two good deer. I believe. I believe. We did. That's a nice one, David. You yeah. had a good year. Appreciate you had a good it. year. So. That's yeah. awesome. And like I said, guys, we kept, he kept talking about, you know, uh, just giving it time. And then like when we got it with Zach, he's got the dogs, man. Yeah, and shot him at 640, 
trailed him about 150 yards. Constant blood, but I knew he wasn't. You want a death lick right there. Yeah, yeah. And, and so I just, I was like, he's a big deer. I'm gonna back out. Backed out. Thought I might give him two or three hours, but old Zach figured a little different. <laughs> yeah, we, I kind of got distracted. Yeah, so Zach had a lot like going on today. Hey, so. It was perfect. Uh, we tracked deer like this in Texas before and wait five, six, seven hours. Yeah. That's for the best. That's right. So, and, and, and a lot of people, you know, uh, as far as the hunting aspect of it, we take every aspect to get a get an animal. Right. You got to put in consideration, you know, you got to give the animal time. Like legs, you might not want to give as much time. Or you don't, sometimes you don't know guts. You want right. to give, give it time. And like I tell people, if it's 50 yards up there yeah. and you backed out, it's going to be dead 50 yards. Right. Time is not hurting you or the dog. Right. You know, we got the time is on your side. And I got to think that, especially with it being a good big right. one like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, know. I'm glad you got him. So I guess hey, David said he ain't sleep a week. A wink last night. I told him I ain't slept in three days. <laughs> hey, that old heart was beating. And, man, I'll tell you what. This fellowship. Glad to get here this morning. Yeah. Yep. That's, yep. All, that's all right there, I man. I pulled up early this morning at 5.15. I was like, who is that? <laughs> I pulled up. Y'all was sitting there about half asleep in the truck. <laughs> hour and a half, four day break. Hey, look. I knew I had to get through the section he was going to check into <laughs> so I could get to the section I needed to get to. You don't reckon y'all was hunting the same deer, would you? Well, uh, well looking, at the question. <laughs> <laughs> looking at the trail camera picture? Yeah. 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 When he called me, he called me. He waited. He shot. And when, when David shot, like I said, my old booty puckered up because <laughs> he's just 300 yards, yeah. so 400 yards. And uh, That old sick feeling kind of come in your gut. I was look. like, you know what? David don't shoot no but them big deer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, hey, he ain't like me in no bear. <laughs> Yeah. Roll one thirty, Daryl. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, so I waited, and he didn't text me, and I was like, "All right, all right, he, he gonna wait till he send me a picture." And then he called, and you don't call another man in the stand unless you know you you done knocked a hammer on one. So, when, and I asked him, he said, "Man, he's a big old deer." I said, "Yeah." So he got some big brow ties. He said, "Man, yeah." I said, "I'll be on out." <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> thanks, thanks, yeah. Zach. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, David, I don't know if you know this, but Zach is the one. Him and his wife one got me hooked up with my wife. Okay. Yeah. So, so I was trying to. I was trying to. Stupid. Yeah. I was trying to. I was trying to hit it, old gal. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it took about ten days. But we, we finally done it. You know. She we went. Know, we had to talk into it. It's you know? so like he ain't quite right, but you know. <laughs> you anyway. Did good, Steph. You did good. <laughs> She's so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> well, just just know, you know how it works. If you ever start hating me, she's going to hate you too. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Be our fault. Be our fault. We've got to line her up more next year. <laughs> <laughs> I will say. Oh, you're going to have to wait another year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay? Ask him. Is, is that your mama? My grandma. Oh, it's your grandma. Okay. I just make sure you, you could be on YouTube. <laughs> they all trying to hide from the camera. I, I think that them two youngers might have felonies. What y'all think? Y'all criminals? No. Huh, just criminals. Like me, man. Just a criminal for looking so good. But any which way, David, congratulations. Thank you. Mr. Dennis. Yes, sir. Your son's a sharpshooter. I don't care what nobody says. He weaved it through there. My boy Zach with them dogs. Got some good dogs. Thanks. I got the same kind of stock dog he got. Y'all know Bella, but she, she, it, Zach. she just she just uh bays up them uh biscuits at the house. But any which way, y'all know how it goes. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this episode. Hit that like button, subscribe, go to y'all y'all.com and support the channel. Don't forget about the podcast. Whoo, you might not get to see my face, but you get to hear my voice. Any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless and as Jesus loved you. <laughs> All right.